Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, don't usually do reviews, but this is a product that I've been using for a while now, the One Up USA bike rack. Before I dive into the functionality of this bike rack, um, I'll take it out of the wall and show you what it looks like on the truck and then kind of show you how it all goes together. Um, which, back, actually, which actually brings me to my next point. This bike rack is so easy to take off the wall and put into the truck and vice versa. So if there's any reason I need to have it off the truck, um, I can easily take it off and put it into the wall. Um, and if vice versa, if I need to take it off the wall, put it in the truck, go for a ride, um, I could do that as well. Um, so to show real quick, I basically have a key that I keep in there, locked in there, and then just slide it out. So we'll show that right now. Literally just one tool. Loosen it, and then remove the lock. And take it off. There you go, I'm gonna go put it on the truck now. And if you notice real quick, I'll do a close up, but this ball right here is what's gonna tighten it. You slide it in as far as you want. It has a slot here to let you give a little bit of flexibility of how far you want to go along. I like to push it all the way, give myself as much room as possible. So once you got that, um, I usually put the lock in. Locked. Tighten it up again with this little Allen wrench. This tightens the little ball. It makes the ball stick out and create, uh, I guess, pressure against the side of the hitch, inside of the hitch. And once you tighten that, it does not wobble. It moves the entire truck. Cool. So that is the bike rack installed. Uh, all right, so what makes this bike rack so great? Um, I would say to start, ease of use is the first thing I wanna to touch on. Um, this bike rack is extremely easy to use. It's not super complicated whatsoever. Um, to kind of show you how it works, um, it has three different levels you can put it at. So for me, I like to have it always like this, completely vertical, gives me as much room as possible. So I can back up close to cars, I can parallel park if I'm in, in you know, the city. And then for a vehicle to have like maybe a spare tire here, I've seen them have it right around here. So still giving you some room. And then this is the normal uh, horizontal carryway. So this is the actual way you would hold the bike rack on here. And then for whatever reason you need to, oh yeah, whenever you have the bikes on here, you would need to put it all the way down to be able to get to your stuff. So if you have a door on an SUV or something, um, or in my case, a tailgate, you can open without hitting it. And I'll show you in a little bit, but you can actually open the tailgate with the bikes on there as well. So that's the first thing. Um, and another big part of why it's so easy to use is all you have to do is open these two up. One, this might hit the camera. You open that two up and that's it. Put the bike in and then close it. Really easy. Just uses these little ratcheting, I don't know what you would call this, but it's like ratcheting system for everything. Let me show you what it actually looks like with the bike on there. So, say I'm going for a ride, grab it, come over here, get the bike. And that's it. And this thing is sturdy. Um, I've taken it on some really long trails and it held up just fine with the bike back there. I wanna say it was like 60 miles. So quite a long time to be on a, a rugged trail with the bike rack. And this thing still works like it's brand new.
Another great thing, this is kind of specific for me, maybe for other vehicles too, but it works well with a truck bed. Um, so I was worried that having it here would have to have a swing out situation going on, um, but it actually works fine. I can leave the bike on the rack and still get to the bed of the truck. So you simply pull this, come down. Just make sure that the pedal is up, I believe. And it just clears it, but it clears it. Um, and then, so when I have the dogs on here, they're able to get out without having to take the bike off every time, unlock it, lock it, all that stuff. So this is a really clutch feature. And if I were to slide it out a little bit further, I'd have even more room. So I have it as close as possible to the truck. Um, but yeah, I can actually put it as close as possible to the truck and still open the tailgate fully. Another feature of this rack that I really like, the um, reason why I ended up purchasing this rack, is its off-road usability. Uh, this is a great rack if you're into off-roading or doing any type of overlanding or anything like that. Usually when I go on trips, I like to take my bike with me. Sometimes I go into places where I'm camping and it'll be a little bit gnarly. Um, and I was worried about bottoming out, breaking the rack, hurting the bike, whatever. This bike rack, one, is really robust, so it's all steel here. Again, it really doesn't wobble, so really, really robust. And then a big part of it is that it is actually at an angle, or it actually installs, and then it, uh, the rack itself comes up to an angle you still maintain a lot of your departure angle um, with this rack. You lose some of it, but if I push it all the way in and I have just the one rack on here, even if you have two racks on here, you still get to have some great departure angle because it installs each rack a level up, and I'll show that in a little bit. But with just one rack, it's actually really great um, off-roading. I have some um, videos showing that in action. But I would say that's another really big benefit of this rack is that it's a great rack if you're into doing any type of off-roading and you are concerned with the uh, departure angle. But for me, this has never been a problem. I've never bottomed out and hit this. Um, and I've done some pretty steep trails with it. So um, yeah, if you're into off-roading, this is probably the rack you're gonna wanna go with. Last thing I wanna talk about is the versatility of this rack. Um, you've probably seen these racks more than you even notice on a lot of different vehicles rigs um, they can be installed in all different ways um, in this instance I have it on the hitch so it's a hitch rack setup but you can actually take the rack and you can install it on a roof rack um, you can install it vertically so if you have so I've seen someone like camper vans they set them up you can have it installed um, you know vertically in the back of the van um, even some I've seen where they set it up um, on the side of the camper of a truck so you can rig something up and you can actually set up the bikes and have them mounted on the side of the truck, which is really cool. Um, so a ton of different ways to use this thing. Um, you can ride it by the rack standalone and you can get really, really creative with how to use this rack. Another really cool thing is that you can quickly do what's called an add-on rack. And I have an extra add-on rack that I used to have on a roof rack that now I use as my add-on hitch rack. Um, and it's extremely easy to do. So for the most part, when I'm going out for a ride, I take the bike, I'm taking just my bike. Um, not usually taking a group of people. Um, but every now and then there will be occasions where my wife would want to come or I might have a friend that wants to come on a ride or going on a road trip or something. So I want to have two bike racks. Um, so let me show you how easy that is to do. First thing you do, simply put this in the up position. Then you come over here and you loosen these two bolts. Usually I just loosen it all the way up. All right, let me go grab the other rack. Place it like this. Let me show this real quick. So you can see it just goes right over those two bolts. Then you slide it in. And tighten 
tiny little bit more. And that is it. You have two bike racks on there now, super stable. And one thing to note is I have the adapter. You can see this plate here that I bolted on. Um, what can be a pretty annoying feature with the bike rack, with this one up bike rack, is the lever is way the heck down here. So you can imagine if this is horizontal, having to get under it, kind of a pain in the butt. But I do have the attachment for the lever. So if I'm doing like a trip where I know I'm gonna be getting the bikes in and out a ton, needing to move this a budge, I will actually install the, the uh, additional lever that I can put here. Makes it a lot easier to move it around. Um, also very easy to do. I would say maybe it takes five minutes to do, but for the most part, if I'm just going for a ride for the day, um, I will simply add this on here and then I can take two bikes. Just like that. And there we go. And then to uninstall, also really easy. Again, just loosen these. Again, this is all done with this same tool for everything, which makes it really easy. As long as you don't lose a tool. But they sell them on 1UpUSA's website. Like that. Slide it off. There you go. And then I go put it up. This goes just like this. And there you go. I had a little tip piece of tape here to keep it from sliding around. Uh, but this holds the extra rack and then I just slide in the main rack. Um, and yeah, that's what it does. And I actually wanted to show a little bit more about this real quick. This little uh, wall mount, I guess you would call it, uh, is, I can't remember the brand. I got it on Amazon for like, I want to say like 30 or 40 bucks. Um, but it's really solid. You just screw it into a stud and it can hold, I believe the capacity is somewhere around 60 to 80 pounds. So quite a bit of strength, um, way more than enough strength to hold a bike rack. So this is what I use for my bike rack. I highly recommend it. Really great way to keep your stuff off the ground, keep it from getting scratched and out of the way um, and saving you room in the garage. All right, so that pretty much concludes uh, the review of the 1UP bike rack. A um, couple of things to quickly summarize, uh, some of the pros I liked about it. It's versatile, very easy to use, great for off-roading, um, lightweight. And some of the cons, I would say there's really only one. Um, the fact that you have to purchase a separate, um, basically lever or handle thing to be able to actually drop it down and up. Um, that's something I don't love, but I guess that lets you be a little bit more flexible with how many add-on racks you want to do. And uh, yeah, that's, other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you like this review. Uh, leave a comment um, if you have any questions and um, feel free to follow. Take care.